The story so far. Craig makes clones do chores and then he sends them to the alligator pit. He has a friend who went missing, Craig with a wig. I'm a clone who volunteered to find him lest I be summoned to the alligator pit myself. I discovered through time travel that Craig is Craig with a wig without even knowing it. My theory is, since Craig got a new clock, the structure and monotony of time brought to light with the endless tick-tock tick-tock have replaced Craig with a wig in Craig's own mind. I threw the clock away to test this theory. Okay, now pay attention, because here's the rest of the story. To avoid any suspicion, I placed an artist approximation of the clock back on the shelf. Spot on. I put the wig in its place, and then I waited. I went for a walk. I came back, and he was asleep, so I woke him up. Wake up! I went for another walk. Came back. Asleep. Wake up! Walk. Back. Sleep. Wake. Walk. Back. Sleep. Wake. Walk. Back. Sleep. Bake. No, no, uh, I mean wake. I meant, I meant wake. Wake up! Since he was always asleep, I decided to observe. He worked for a bit, looked at the clock, and went to sleep. Worked, looked, slept. I guess 11.30 was his nap time. Fine, I decided to remove the clock no matter how beautiful and accurate it was. He worked for a bit and looked at the clock. Where'd the time go? He looked around his desk and went to sleep. Wake up. He woke up, looked under the couch, went to sleep. I decided to let him sleep for a day. I needed the rest too. I took a nap on his new chair. It's weird to think that I'm actually newer than this chair. As soon as I hit my head to the cushion, I was swept away. I dreamt that I had my own video blog. It was a travel blog. I went all over the world, taught all my viewers about exotic places. India, Brazil, Branson, Missouri. Someone's kitchen? Um, a, a rave? Also, I juggled. Sort of a combination travel, how to juggle vlog. Eventually, my videos inspired world peace and a cure for eczema. I really did something. I was happy. I woke up. Went for another walk. I felt great. Invigorated. Ready to take on the world. Just as soon as I figured out this mystery and Craig set me free. I returned to the apartment. And there he was, asleep in the chair again. Removing the clock wasn't the answer. Craig wasn't even awake long enough to become Craig with a wig. What was different about now from a few weeks ago that made Craig with a wig disappear? The chair. The old chair caused pain and discomfort from which Craig needed to escape. Or perhaps the magical new chair beckoned slumber to such a degree that nothing else could interfere. Like the siren song to Odysseus. Or booze to Snooky. Or lots of chocolate to somebody who really likes a lot of chocolate on things. It certainly drew me in. It had to go. Craig! Wake up! Why do you keep doing that? I think the coffee's done. I love it when the coffee's done. I headed for the alligator pit. Maybe the alligator would like a chair. He could be the first alligator ever to learn how to sit in a chair. It could be awesome. He could be on Letterman. Coffee's empty. Why did you- Gasp! What are you doing? This chair is poisoning your mind. It has to go. But that chair is soft and elegant on my buttocks. When I sit in it, I feel like an airplane pilot. If this chair goes, Craig with a wig will come back. What are you talking about? Trust me. No! Maybe you're the problem. Ever since you showed up, Craig with a wig was nowhere to be found. Maybe you should get into the pit. What? Jump! Go on. Hop right in there. Right in there. This is the pit. This is you. Woo! Well, except you'll fit. You'll fit in the pit. Dead. Go on. Jump in. Go on. I knew it. I hate knowledge. Oh, happy day. Oh yeah, my clock. Aren't the best lies the ones the liar actually believes?